I'm so excited and so emotional by the gas station. This is the 17th episode of the second season of the Doris Day Show and Leroy is back. I feel like I'm missing some information because Leroy now owns a gas station, a service station, and he's married and is having a baby. And I feel like there's been a gap in my knowledge. How did we go from Leroy just disappearing to this? Either way, thrilled that Leroy is back. I haven't looked ahead. I don't know if he's in it anymore, but I hope so. I think James Hampton does a brilliant job with the character. And his wife is in the hospital having a baby. And Doris and Myrna agree to watch Leroy's gas station so he can go to the hospital to be with his wife while she gives birth. And it doesn't seem like a big deal. They're just a, a small gas station. They're never that busy. But unfortunately, cars are being rerouted towards this gas station because of a problem on the highway or something. And suddenly it's bumper to bumper, cars, trucks, you name it, wanting to use this service station. And Doris and Myrna, to their credit, well, they work to the bone. And they're wearing rather awesome costumes and the little kind of jumpsuits and they're filthy and the only thing I didn't like about this is that it, it felt very busy. I, In a way, it's a good thing for the episode because I felt like I was there. I felt like I was being rushed off my feet. I felt the chaos. But that doesn't make for the most pleasant viewing. So credit to the episode for making it seem very realistic and immersing me in that environment. But it did mean I felt exhausted just watching it. But I, I did thoroughly enjoy it. And there are several unexpected things and I won't say any more than that but it definitely became quite intense I think Doris as always gave it a really wonderful performance uh, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it so a couple of spoiler thoughts I will go into some spoiler details now I have to say Doris's performance and as I said big spoiler when she's shouting at the person who's trying to rob the gas station. I just, it was wonderful. And not actually what I'd expected to happen. And it worked so well. The tire was a wonderful touch. And the fact that Leroy had triplets, I just thought was fabulous. And Leroy fainting, it, it just, it worked so well. And I love that Buck was there as well. It helped to bring him into the story. What I thought was a little bit awkward is that because Doris had been working, she'd forgotten about her children. And I feel like this is the direction the show is going. I'm aware of what hap well, I know what happens with Billy and Toby roughly. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil anything, but also I can't really spoil anything because I don't know that much information. But basically the more Doris works, the less we have Doris the mother and more Doris the career woman and it's almost like she can't be both. And I don't agree with that. That's not my opinion. But we do see this quite a bit with the show that she really isn't able to give 100% to both of them. And it's a little bit awkward at times. And this is definitely the case here when she forgot to pick her children up. So I'm not really sure how I'll feel about that when we get to the third season. But time will tell. Either way, the gas station was a delight. As soon as I saw Leroy, I just I couldn't believe it. It's been 17 episodes. For me, that's been 17 weeks as I watch one episode a week since we saw Leroy. And I was heartbroken when I realized he wasn't going to be in the second season because I think he's a brilliant character. And then up he pops. And I love it. And I think it's brilliant. Also, it's great that he's able to run this business and you know, have this this steady job, this steady position. Uh, hopefully things will just flourish for him and his wife and his now triplets. Uh, really brilliant to see him. Also really weird to see Myrna and Leroy interacting, two characters who have not met before, which I just thought was another another little cherry on the icing on the cake. Definitely, all things considered, a really fabulous episode. 